You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. What is this episode? It's 55. 50, 55. On Single de Mayo. Hey, hey, five, 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 hey, five. All the fives. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. Five, five, five. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. And then build that wall. <laughs> You know, I'm pissed because I was hoping today was the fourth so I could arrest the development at the Cinco de Cuatro. Uh, Cinco de Cuatro. <laughs> day you should of just the, do it anyways. Facts. I'm just going to put a picture arrest development as the cover page. But um, yeah, man, it was an it was an all right week. We started off right. with uh, the mixtape was uh, the Larry Fisherman, the Vince Staples and uh, Le- and uh, Mac Miller project. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Rip. True facts. It's a good tape. That's a really good tape. It grew on me. Like when it first came out, I kind of was wasn't feeling it, but I think because we were younger. Now I understand it. I was a I. This was to me. This is a great project, but this was the last of the Vince Staples that I was obsessed with. Yes, because when yeah, Vince Staples came out, it was super negative, and he was word playing about the most hard shit, and then he just went. I think we just like anything negative, man. I think he just I think he just ran out of content, to be honest. He's he's he went like I don't know, man. I think he just he got like like, a little I think he saw white people paid more because he like went full like he went from full like I hope I outlive them red roses. That was the most gang violent song ever. And then you go to like all this pop shit, big bang theory, big fish theory shit. It's like I feel like he just took the pop thing that he saw that like you know white people was gravitating to because you know they pay for shit and he just was like yo this is my career from now on i'm gonna play these big festivals you know you eating cheetos too man yeah i see you bro i'm over here starving dude i need to eat bro i i fucked shit up today me and little man i was like we finna eat tacos all day (laughs) and we did i may have to make a taco bell run Facts. But um, yeah, this Larry Fisherman shit. Yo, dude, uh, for, uh, you brought up Taco Bell because that's what I got for me, little man. It's not really real tacos, but who cares? Uh, yeah, it's like but, five. This is what we were just talking about. The I other gave day him five percent like meat. I gave him a Dorito taco, and his mind was blown. He was just looking at it, going chip, chip. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I broke him. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's a sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, and, and the whole time I'm like, bro, imagine seeing this when you're drunk. Like, you imagine like he was his. He that broke. is what it's like. It's yeah, the same he broke. Thing. He was like obsessed. Being drunk is like chip. being like free. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's a taco. And he's like, no, daddy, it's a chip. But I'm like, all right, man, whatever, you know, whatever. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's not. So I'll give him that. But yeah, it's hysterical. <laughs> yeah, it broke him. Like he was just he was lost. But um, first project of the week, true to fashion. Running Water EP by TR3. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about this. <laughs> Don't get that close. To the Let me tell you something about this. <laughs> I need you to really listen to me, okay, Mister Trey World. Just because you want it to sound away, doesn't make it not trash. Get the fuck out of here with your excuses. Facts. So what's crazy is this dude. He sent us a, a SoundCloud of one of his projects from way back. And I was like, yo, this project's actually dope. He's rapping. So when you did this, I was like, you got a red stamp. I'm like, Shit's let ass. me listen to it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm like, it's not what, what this dude usually does. I was out here channeling M this week. Yeah, you. Th- this is the angriest I've ever <laughs> seen Waco. But, um, two, two different times. Yeah. Just... And this dude, you know what? He It'd tried to like, like, that he tried to, like Alice in Chains it and everything. He's like, this yeah, was made nah, in 15 hours. Quality was purposeful. It, personally. it sounds like it was made in 15 hours. I don't ride the quality rules. Johnny, I think me and you can make a better song in 15 hours. It's I mean, trash. Fucking, we could do, I could bust out 10 tracks easily in fucking 15. Are you I, kidding me? And it'd be so way we could cleaner. have an EP in two days. Yeah, it'd be way if cleaner. If really needed to. Yeah, yeah. no. Nah, there's no excuse. Have you told I, me, I, like, I, yo, bro, I, next week, take off two days. We finna work on me. Dude, me and Pobo did it. We did a whole EP in a weekend, bro. Like, you yeah. kidding me? And that shit got hooks. It got everything. And I made a fresh beat for it. No, get this out of here. This shit, this shit legit sounded like it was recorded inside of a Folgers can. Yeah. And it's like, when people. When people Folgers ask, coffee is trash. But it's not the best part. <laughs> it's of like this up. album. Yeah, it's not the best part of waking up. What's crazy is these dudes try to chuck shit up, like, oh, vintage, blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, you don't know what that means. <laughs> there's no do you know what sound analog vintage, means yeah to sound vintage doesn't mean to sound like garbage Tra- you know what i'm saying like 
There's literally, it's like, bro, if you are so smart in this whole vintage quality shit, there are plugins that'll make stuff sound like the 70s, 60s, 50s. It and still there's one doesn't called, sound like that. It's one for free, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Isotope. Isotope, yep. For you guys. I use a paid plugin, but Isotope, yep. use it. And the way you use it is you put some good quality stuff. And you turn it on, and it'll drop it to that. Still doesn't sound like trash. So that whole shit for the birds, like that yeah, shit fuck out of here, fuck, fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> you don't follow the quality guideline. It's like, bro, I hope no one fucking pays you, bro. Like, you don't yeah, deserve fact. anybody streams or money. Oh. Don't be a fucking clown. Anyways, don't th- stop paying these people. People, stop giving them streams. I don't care. But then we have you are, we, we care a little bit though. No, we care t- in the negative. Side. We care enough to tell you to fuck oh, of off. Of course, we care. Like this happens. I, I like. Every red stamp that's been trash, I wish I could take back those streams. Yeah, I don't want them. Like, I don't even want it to hit after, after you like owe me Spotify, a nickel, bitch. I don't want so them what to I'm see gonna it. Do, what I'm going to do at some point this year, I'm going to break down how much how, many, how much money we've given these people. Oh, man. You're gonna be at that for <laughs> no, I'm serious. We need to make an IGTV video. <laughs> and it's to be, it needs to be Mark in a lab <laughs> coat and some glasses. Just like All right. right here. You need to be Professor Shine. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know I know how much streams are, and I know that this we all listen like, to, oh, yeah, to Project oh, list one time. Mm-hmm. So I'll just break it down statistically for each one, <laughs> and, and throw these hands out. And of then, it. and then we then we send everyone invoices. Facts. <laughs> Pay us back. I got that. Please. <laughs> Easy so. Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> Love that man. So um, this project, that next one was the Love Something EP by Joey Flats. It was really smooth. I'm like, all right. I, I got, like. I, I have a hot take for you. Oh, you don't like <laughs> oh, this one? God. Yeah, no. Nah, I feel like JP's album review on the next one and your <laughs> review here should be swapped. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. Yeah. I don't remember which one's next, but I'm gonna look at it. But um, yeah, this project was super smooth. It it had some weird points where auto tune would show up, and I was like, mm, kind of fucking up the song. It's a five for me. Okay, I like this one though. It was smooth. It was like he was um. This is this is like young sad boy shit. So yeah, it was a, it was it was the quality was good. Yeah, don't let me album, don't yeah. let me hating on it like like it just was too weird for me. I guess yeah I just, had, yeah I, I like, like yeah. I like the weird sound shit. So you know yeah, I was like I was like uh. yeah this was like this is like a little bit saw some sad boy stuff. He had a lot of heartfelt shit that he was saying. Just throw the auto tune away. This would have been a little bit better for me. But um, I like this project. It's very smooth. Joey flies did his thing. I think he 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 was rapping. He did some singing. He did a, he did a couple of things on here that I liked, and it's like I've never heard of this dude. Sound like a young cat, so I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're putting out stuff this I mean, clean, auto tune makes dude, anybody it. sound young. So <laughs> no, no, the auto tune stuff was bad though. It was like poorly used auto tune, and it's like come on, auto tune's <laughs> an instrument. Like don't ruin an instrument. Exactly. Use it right. You know what I'm saying? Like just use, just, your use voice it sparingly, please. Facts. <laughs> like chill out. But um, yeah, this project was all right. You know, it was it was it was nice. I liked it. It was smooth. But uh, so <laughs> JP is reviewing this. So the next project was okay, the, you got you got to read it like him. So first, yeah, first off, <laughs> oh wait, actually, oh, wait, yes. let's see, is he the joining emojis. us? The emojis. No, he's watching Endgame right now. Oh, he's gonna be in there forever. The emojis say check. <laughs> his dude, we we already discussed of how his emojis were. Don't. I'm yeah. telling you, man. We need to do a genius breakdown of JP's reviews. JP's yeah. emojis are wild. It's, gonna be, but, it's um, just gonna be one of the genius guys just having a fucking nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, say EP by Vori. Um, this album's trash. Yeah, this is a weird EP. It's like very boring. I think it was less. I'm surprised for you to say that after the last one we just listened to. Trash. This you know one what I'm was, saying? This They're one so was, similar. I, that one I liked. I like what the, that kid was talking about. This one was more was like, more pop. yeah, this is more, more like the new age stuff. There was nothing I could grasp. Like that other one off rip, I can hear the shit he was saying. Like, and it was like super heartfelt. So I was like, all right, this is legit. Like if you're on sad beats, say sad things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're on it's sad beats speech. and you're like fly popping and you're doing like pop shit, it's corny. It's just like, you just bought this dope beat from someone because you know, it's who's made. actually sad. Yeah. And yeah. then, you, yeah. You know and, what I'm saying? and that smoke perk verse was. Trash. I couldn't believe that he didn't put a garbage next to it. That verse was nope, and, uh, trash. And I know people think we probably just JP. hate on Smoke Perp, but no, like, he really is trash. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah, that that song did not deserve a wave. I don't. But I mean, it is what it is. Oh, yeah. that's, that's JP's thing, man. That's just you know how it goes. 
pumpkin now. But, um, yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, this is the Say EP by Vori. It wasn't that great. It was, you know, it's short, so you can just blow through it. Then we posted our interview with my man Runic, man. I like Runic. He's a weirdo, man. Yeah. He's cool, though. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good kind Very of weirdo. Weird. Yeah, I like Runic, man. I like weirdos, man. I like the way he raps. I like his weird beat choices and his fancy pictures, man. What That picture of him I put for the for the interview, I'm like, look at this man's old school Phil Collins sweater. I'm here for that. <sighs> <laughs> that sweater was tough. Yeah, it was. So this next project. Before we go into the, the fest that's about to happen, the cook fest, <laughs> salute to this young man. This is Dunk I can't man. believe he asked so for that. So Dunk Man <laughs> put in a project, and he got a .5 the first time. No, point three. Point three. sorry. He put he got a point three from M. He hit us up, and he, he, he thanked us for it, and he always keeps his eyes on the page. <laughs> He's always liking stuff. He's not a hater. He'll jump in. He'll talk. He's a cool kid. He, he, he enjoys what we do. He hit me up he said he got a new one coming out and he was like he feels like he worked on some of the stuff that he got judged for and i was like i bet who do you want to review it and he was like i kind of want M to do this one too i don't understand Salute why people... to that man he is bold. i don't understand i don't know why he asked i don't that. care i, don't ask, I like, like that anybody he did asked it. for review he asked review. for that and then, and then in the chat we were all like oh like, <laughs> <But> <laughs> we already know what let's get f in the chat but yeah, still, yeah, yeah f in the chat man. but i still appreciate the gall because nobody has done yeah, that the yet. audacity. The we no one had, wants We've had twice. people literally come in, like, uh, Emma's reviewed, like, oh, can <laughs> someone else look at it? Remember that, uh, the car cap, the, can, can JP review it? Or and then you always... said to my review? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, bro, this is, I respect this. He is, as far as I'm concerned, anyone He's who my is, son. <laughs> he He's just my child son. now. Anyone who has received a red stamp and cried about it, this kid who got from a point three to a point got, six progress. Got, this kid is got, better than you guys. This kid is more bold than you softies. And he's M bold. Hit him, M hit him with the Gordon Ramsay twice. <laughs> he's an idiot sandwich. But yeah. this kid is bold, bro. So this is um this is nineteen by Dunkman. I'm assuming he's nineteen, which makes him yeah. fucking tougher than you little bums. But he's he says a lot of gang shit. Remember we thought that in his first project. Yeah. And I'm like, like, is he talking about like bloods and shit? I'm yeah. like. Mm-hmm. This skinny white kid, I'm like, what? And then this Get one, up. I'm like, what? All yeah, right, it's... talk your talk, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just not good though. It's not good, but talk that shit. All right. Nah, this is that. This is that. This is that, that thing I always talk about, where it's like white the, privilege. It, well, it's the white <laughs> kid that like played on an inner city team, but like he's really from the burbs. Yep. You know what I mean? So he was always on the bench, never actually played, but like no, this he, got to, like, he got to be around all the lingo and stuff. I treated him like a like a son that you know you catch your son gang banging and you beat the shit out of him, so he knows what it's Mark, about. Mark had the the Lawrence Fishburne uh, the, the menace to society the therapy balls. He was just sitting there listening. To, <laughs> he was sitting there listening to it. <laughs> uh, uh, shit, yeah. album's not oh, good. It's it's nope. so bad. It's garbage. It's Yo, so bad. Beats but, are better though. The beats are better. And not him though. He ain't doing nothing better. He's using auto tune. He's doing all but you know what? He's doing everything the wave requires. <laughs> and it do your thing. He did say something that had me dying too. I think he was he was like, Oh yeah, you know, fuck it. It's my last rap project. I'm about to start doing pop. And I was crying. And I was R&B like, and soul. <laughs> Give this man his cookout pass. <laughs> We need to get him on here. We need to have a Wait, serious conversation. Wait, I want to. I want to find the actual comment. Hold, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. I think I see it. Uh, nah. In all honesty, <laughs> I'm trying to change my style to R and B and pop. Facts. I can send over a preview if you'd like. Did he yeah, ever send I, over a preview? And I, no, he didn't send it. But I was like, <laughs> I was immediately like, send that shit. <laughs> I'm about to reply and be like, "Where's the preview?" Yeah. <laughs> Dunk man. We try, you we try to. We try to play it live. <laughs> Bad. We got to do like a like ladies only. You need to hear this R and B jam. This is for the ladies, and then introduce them to. Dunk it's gonna be Man. him, but like he's gonna be singing like gang, gang, gang <laughs> shit. Like, but he's singing it in the background. Do 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 do. Skr skr. So. Oh, I hate, man. Yeah. I hate people. So we had uh, the next project. Now, I don't hate my man Dunk Man. So the next I don't project, hate him. He's my son. I have to like facts. him. I literally called him my son twice. <laughs> Told him I was disappointed in him. I don't Dunk think man. I've ever done that before. 
Oh, it's the best. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now clean up your room and make sure the chicken's thawed before dinner. Clean your room. Yeah, take the chicken out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, it's great. So the next project was uh, World Too Wavy by Curly J. This is some new age stuff, but it was at least a little different. It was cool. It was just like, it's all right. it was catchy. Yeah, stuff. Nice, it's like, it's nice right. spaceman, bro. <laughs> Yo, so they made that <laughs> spaceman. At least he switched his up a little. <laughs> yeah, he just used two of them. But I'm saying, this isn't, we, I've seen two other projects, same spaceman, bro. It's like, what are you guys doing? Who's who's the artist that hit y'all with the auto, the auto K-E. post? We got to get, we gotta <laughs> the, get the artist. Special. Yeah, we got to get the artist that made that spaceman on the podcast. <laughs> Facts. I'm good. You Who's K.E.? Can I somebody feel like tell because me, he's such us. a hustler, yeah, we'd have K-E? to blur his face out for the whole interview. Oh, I'm like, about to Google yeah, I sold right these now. kids the same snowman. <laughs> you know, let's just blur him out. Yeah, you know, I charge him about 100 a pop. <laughs> it's like a 13-year-old kid. All right, Spencer Gomez, relax. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. My man's he's in love, right? So He likes <laughs> long walks. <laughs> Can you, you imagine how out of breath he was? <laughs> So whoever KE up. on the track is, I just Googled him because he pops up in our comments so often. That's my, that's he's my done, cousin. He's done albums for Roscoe Dash, Marty Party, Il Esha, Future, Lecrae, So Rick for the Ross. entire 2000s <laughs> till the 2010. Yeah, so why is he popping up again with all these bots? Because he, spent, because he pays for them. There's like Nick, seven. He did a Nicki Minaj album apparently, or he was on a Nicki Minaj album? I don't know. He's he's paying a lot for bots. Whatever royalties yeah, he's getting. You know who also pays a lot? Kato. <laughs> Kato, too. Yeah. Kato, the producer, and KE on the track, right? Same person. Clowns. It's got to be. KE's Asian. <laughs> but, anyways, so back stupid. to Curly J with his New Age, fe- new age Fest. I like it's this mad. because even though it was New Age, it, he tried different things. He was doing all sorts of hooks and stuff, and I was like, "It's not bad. It wasn't boring. It was all right. Was I didn't cool. hate it, but I didn't love it. Yeah, I didn't love, like. Yeah, that's why I was like, I gave it like a six point eight. I was like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was I, catchy enough. I get people are probably gonna love it. So exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was like, it's not bad. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I just like put it on. I was like, cool. So it's cool. Got it cool for me. So I'll give him that. And there was more catchy stuff. He did have uh, my man Jig Stacks on there who was snapping. Jigs is nice. Jigs is nice. He's he's young. It's a child, and he's out here like fuck it. Everybody wants the new age. I'm going to rap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, straight up. So I love we, people like that. Shout I out to those too. people. Shout out to them. So then we had um, we released our uh, interview with Dirty Needles. Needles. That was an interesting one. Yeah, I like Dirty Needles. He 100 percent sounds like E40. Yeah, he. Other people have said it. He can't deny it. Stop nope. denying it. He got mad, too. He was <laughs> tight. <laughs> it's like, can you like, say, Oof, oh, imagine, so like imagine I was that. like, can you go, ooh? And he was like, no. Nah. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, too, because he's like, just the way he did it. Like, well, I don't think that I sound like E-40. You know, he's, <laughs> it's like, bro, you like, sound Have you like ever him. heard the E-40 interview? Cause <laughs> yeah, like, you sound bad. just like him. <laughs> ooh. 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 So, uh, but shout out to Dirty Needles, man. He can fucking rap, man. He made me, I went through all his videos and stuff. I'm like, he's like rapping. I'll give him that. Yeah, he got oh, the yeah. nuke ready for anybody who wants to get spicy. And I like that, man. He's here for the spicy. bars. He's going to nuke. Yes, he's got those bars, and I'm here for that. I fucks with that. And he's he will bar you with the clearest pronunciation. With the Fact. clearest pronunciation. Every T. He has great diction. <laughs> Every word, bro. Clear. So then we had our Women Crush Wednesday. Oh, now we all loved us some Trina Facts. at one point in time, boy. Yeah. Ooh wee! All my socks in middle school. <laughs> Facts <laughs> that are that are somewhere in like a dump, just walking, standing like, up. <laughs> uh, either that or they're like infinity he was dust. Was the man? Yo. What did JP say? He was like, he he I lost, lost a lot of too. <laughs> JP's a mess, but yeah, yeah. And oh, I love love me some Trina, man. We love you, Trina. We appreciate you. So <laughs> and she can rap. <laughs> yeah, facts on that Southern shit too, man. That was like, you know, Southern rappers. They had their moment where they were like, "Yo, fuck it, we out here." All because of fucking Andre Three Thousand just accepting that reward. Like, yo, don't sleep. And the South came hot, but um. So the next project, great name. Press L to continue. Yes. It's some British shit. By Romderful. I Savage. enjoyed it. I really yeah. did. This is a cool project. Good, but it was some British shit. 
<laughs> I just wish it was six songs less. <laughs> six songs? That's it's some like British more shit. than half of the album. Well, it's yeah, exactly. That's why I got a six. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. six songs were good. One point for all the That's songs fair. he likes. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is I like this project. It's very catchy. It's very fun. It's not like they bear. They barely squeezed out a check. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Barely. It was all right, though. It was yeah. some British pop. It music was weird, though. It, yeah, like... For the songs that like just popped up that were garbage, though, it was very weird because they didn't even sound like they were a part of this project. Everybody it was like a compilation. Exactly. Yeah. It was just like, yo, this is fire. And then it's like, what the fuck was that? And then it's like, oh, okay, fire again. You know, it was weird. But it's a cool, it's a cool time, man. I was expecting a little more sadness because of the name, but it's very upbeat. Um, <laughs> no, because just press L to continue. I'm in. I'm into that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was very, very upbeat. It was very. It was fun. It was different. And he he says his first project, so I'm like, it's very clean for a first project. So, whoever you're working with, stick with them. You know the British people do everything better than us. So <sighs> that's debatable, considering the rates of interbreeding that they did for years, or their teeth. But <laughs> why do you think teeth. their teeth are so bad, Johnny? Or their teeth, nigga. I know all, y'all stopped uh, using fluoride at first. But That's what happens when you fuck your family members. Your teeth get all crooked. Well, facts. Alabama exhibit A. Walk out here. It's talking spicy. I know. Hey, hey, look at you. Want to see? You ever want? You ever wondered why there's so many genetic diseases in in England? Like people with oh. like crazy skin malformations and like fucking eyeballs growing out. They their- fuck their cousins. Oh, yes, yeah. they're on that cave. They're on that cave shit. Time, they're fucking little bitty island. Yeah, they're That's why they had to go shit. out. That's why they had to go out and conquer, bro, because they had to fucking deepen the gene pool. Facts, because they was like, just got a, oh, just got a, got, got over a here bunch of it. hunchbacks running around. Uh, the dudes were like, damn, we need to go fuck somebody other than our sisters. Yeah, they're like, over here ain't it. It is. It's, it's, <laughs> this, it's not hitting. <laughs> yeah, this is this whole area is whack right now. We need to. <laughs> we need some brown children to stat. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so um, the next project was uh, Child of the Jungle by M.E.D. and Guilty Simpson. I love this project. It was good. Good time. It is a really good time. I feel like uh, Barrett, even though he gave it a good like a seven point four, I feel like he couldn't even grasp it because it is deep. He's not woke <laughs> enough. Yeah, he. I think some stuff Barrett, might flew so over one, his head. So, uh, one track, one he time. He was like listen. talking about like yeah, you talking about like, but that's the thing. I, my first listen, I'm like, there's a lot going on here, <laughs> you know. But I, hey, we should lose to Barrett. He's doing his thing. But um, yeah, this this is a good project, man. This is a very very solid. It's smooth. <laughs> There are raps, there are beats. It's a little long, but it didn't feel like that's it was what I was going to say. It didn't feel like that's... it was dragging because it had a it had you know a lot what? of it had breaks. Cap, no, yeah, it but... should be. Not, I can't listen to anything over fifty minutes. Yeah. But this, yeah, it's hard. But uh, this, yeah, this had a lot of breaks in it, so it totaled out around thirty minutes. So it wasn't bad. It's just, it's a good time. It's intimidating to look at and to type out because you know we all hate mm-hmm. that. But um, it's a good time. I, I I definitely recommend this project. It's fucking smooth. So this next one I really, really enjoyed too. This is uh, the Golden Palm Trees EP by Wichita Slim, Jay McCants, and Ham. <laughs> Ham. I love Ham. Ham. Yeah, this is a good time too. This Facts. project is a good time. I did not think it was going to be as smooth as it was, but it was like unapologetically smooth. Like it was just yeah. hitting you with yeah, like, like, yeah. like oil on a bathroom floor. Yeah, it just was going. And it's like, oh my God. And then they snuck in that one banger and then it went right back to smooth i was like all right I see you. hey when people say we don't like new age things that's one two three back to back to back just a, a lot of the shit that we review mr. is new age mr. music paper so review. mr fucking paper we're gonna get to mr we'll get to that review mr hater fucking loser but um yeah this project is super super dope like very smooth these dudes keep working together they were clashing they were rapping it was smooth the beats were fire the pacing was great the subject matter was great this this is a good time it's a very straightforward good time bro like if these dudes really dialed in they could put out something dope so then we had our throwback thursday was um <coughs> mac miller I like man. how, I like how you did the whole rip thing. Yep. What happened? Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. I like that you did it twice. Yeah, give Mac all the love, man. I almost put him on the slap down, but I was like, nah, let me chill for a bit. Mac's so nice, you gotta respect him twice. Max. And this this is personally my favorite Mac Miller project. But um some dudes try to tell Not me this one favorite. isn't even a classic. And I'm like, what? What? As far as this his is projects where, where Mac think, found his soul. I think this is the most hip hop one he put out. He's put out. 
this project is super hip hop and it's trippy because it's weed, but it's very, very hip hop. Like he is rapping. Mm-hmm. He has all the good features on here. Loaded Lux gave him a fucking intro. Easy Mac with the cheesy reps. I was like, this is fucking gas. Like this, I love this project. When it came out, I was super excited because I was like, I wasn't a fan of Mac Miller till uh, someone was just like, bro, listen to Macadelic. I was like, all right. And I was like, classic, is nice. And I'm like, oh, because nice. I remember nice. like old Mac Miller, like Easy Mac with the cheesy rap. Yeah, and I like Kool Aid Frozen Pizza, man. Yeah, and I wasn't Kool-Aid, a fan. I like Party on Fifth Ave, great song, but I didn't like the song for him. I like because that beat just bangs, and it's like a block party yeah. song. But I wasn't a fan. And then Macadelic, I'm like, oh, I didn't know he turned into this. Oh yeah, so, he got really introspective when yeah, he like got so, a little older. I really, really dug dug into that one, and then I was I was excited for when this to drop, and it dropped on a date with a bunch of other like heavy hitter albums too. I forgot which, but I remember all the albums that dropped that day were heavy. So I picked this up, and I was like, "Fuck!" And I still bump this till this day. It's still good. This <clears throat> and the the Faces EP, the mixtape Fire, and Good AM. Oh, Ugh. Good AM's Fire too. Fire, but yeah, man, this is, this is a dope Ooh. project. Thank you. What you got tacos, man. I got noodles. Okay. Very un-Mexican. Just wall yeah. noodles. But, true. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> what'd you expect? Yeah. Shut up, bitch. He went straight <laughs> forward like a man. I'm hungry, dog. Yeah, like a man. So the next project, I was like shocked because I didn't know this dropped. So I, I like Sadistic, but uh, the Haunted Gardens by Sadistic. And I was like, all right, cool. It's, it's cool. all right. There's just, it's cool. It's inconsistent. It's nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you, you know what? The first track is definitely it, it, it's very off putting. Yeah, it's yeah, and it, it, it makes you go into this with a whole different energy. Like there's a lot of them that I skipped about halfway through. Yeah, there it's it's very inconsistent. But to me, there was more good songs than bad than like boring. But it was just as a whole project, I'm not like oh, it's a great body of work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is one of those ones where you like pluck a few songs from it and yeah. add them to your shuffle. Yeah, yeah. But this is, but it was, you know, it's, it's not a terrible listen. There's just a lot of stuff on here that like you can do without. And sadistic's kind of like an acquired taste, so a lot of the stuff is going to sound the same to people who just don't get it. And if you're not mm-hmm. trying to listen to what he's saying, you're, it's just going to sound the same. So you just got to pick which ones have the best beats to you, you know. But um, it wasn't terrible. I do hate that the first song has the greatest song title, and it was boring. I fell asleep. <sighs> All my poisons sit in frames. Fire. That is a. That is a that is a great song title, but it's just boring. But anyways, so the next project. This is one we got a lot of hate for. The Green Eyed Bandit. This is Vernie. This was fire. Eric I don't know what, Sermon, The Green Eyed Bandit. What the EPMD. fucking problem is. This project is so fucking dope. And we got this hating ass dude, Mr. Pay-Per-View. He's actually General Back Pain's dude. So this dude's a fucking clown. He knows Back Pain and he knows... Um, <laughs> Lupus. Lupus, Lupus Day. So this dude was mad at that one back pain review, but didn't see the uh, the two dope Lupus Day reviews or the one good general back pain one. So he took it amongst exactly. himself to call us old heads and hate on everything. So this dude, who's a fucking fan, follows us. No, nobody likes his bum ass. He comes on here hating. He just LOLs because it's an old head review and he thinks we rated it high. And it's like, bro, go fuck yourself. Like... Don't be a bird. And then wants to talk about, oh, I'm not going to argue with you and blow yeah. up your page. And you he have looks like, like 500 he look, he followers. Looks like, uh, he looks like Diet Murder Mook. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a bum. So he's just talking all this shit all run up on people. I'm like, you're not doing nothing. You're talking garbage on the internet. Oh, don't be surprised when you get run up on. Yeah, it's like, bro, if you need a hey. bunch of people. Yeah, if you need a bunch of people to run up on any of us, you're a coward. Secondly, I don't think any of us would back down for a fair one. <laughs> nah. You know, so just do what you got to do. Like, we're out here. You know exactly what we're doing because you're a fan and you follow our page. So you see what we're doing, you clown. But anyways, this project. Is Johnny, he looks pixelated, right? Is that just me? I was just going to say, is the quality going down for you too? Yeah. My quality still looks yeah, you, good. No, like your voice quality is going down yeah, too. Yeah, me and Mark uh, are clear. Oh, you're you like, know why? Because uh, cause that, that thing I put in the Dropbox for Waco is fucking up all my bandwidth. Oh, no. <laughs> you should have waited. I know. Now I'll I'll stop it, but um, yeah, but uh, I it's clear on my end, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. I don't care about what you oh, guys okay. see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You all- I'm oh, clear, God. bruh. But um, yeah, fucking this project's a good fucking time, man. From the the beats, woo, 
to the I features. can't wait for oh. Lil, Lil Vic, man. You've been working uh, with him. I need bro. you and the Green Eyed Bandit together. Facts. I yeah, facts. I need to get up in that action. Oh, dude, this. Pro- Let's just all sit in silence for the A Z and Styles P song on this. Yuck. Yo. I listened to it and I was like, "Is this Styles P in album mode? Because he had that album coming oh out. Is that what that God, was? This is Styles P in album. No one did the album, by the way. But um, that was genius. nobody really. I'll Jesus. do it this weekend. I was <laughs> gonna say I'll grab it. I think but he was I gonna do it. I gotta one. check the drafts. No, you did the last one, so I don't need to leave it. <laughs> but uh, this A Z. Oh. Disgusting. That song, that song fucked me up. Then the exhibit, David Banner. Ah, uh, grid out fire. here sliding all over the place. That song is fire, bro. Oh my god. Then you got No Malice showing his face. You got that Raekwon Noriega song, dude. The big crit feature. Oh, sliding. This project was gas, bro. And he I, just go. He was just going down the mountain. No, no, no skis. Just. You know what fucked me up? On this pro with this project, so you're gonna laugh because no one trusts the sidebar. No. So I scrolled; it was on my timeline. I didn't realize it was from the sound bar, uh, the sidebar. There was someone just like randomly on my page on like mm-hmm. fitness, Facebook, and they're like, "Yo, that new Eric Sermon's trash." And I was like, "No," you're lying. and I was you're hurt. Bugging. So I was like, "Yo, I high key don't want to do it." Because I was like, if it's trash, I don't know if I can actually. And then you realized where that came from? Yeah, and then I saw it was sidebar, and I was like, oh, it's going to be fire. Yeah, so all, like, all their opinions are garbage. Yeah, so I was like, it's going to be Everybody in sidebar. So I was like, all right. And I listened to it, and I was like, oh, this is absolutely fantastic. And I like that Eric Sermon did his thing. He kept up. He, he still keeps it very – his flow's old school, but his subject matter is it's with the shits. And he's paying homage to new dudes. He's paying homage to old dudes. He's using some like he used some Kendrick lines just to spice it up. He's not like doing no biter shit. He's paying, he's showing love to the new torch, you know what I'm saying? The new carriers of the torches. So Facts. that is one that's what old heads do and shit like that. <laughs> you know what that's I'm what saying? That's what they should be doing. Yeah. And he's he's bigging up the culture as a whole. So this <laughs> is like something goes that's both need- ways. Yeah, this is something that's needed. Like this project felt bigger than it was. And it really is a good time. Like People sleep, but he, he did his thing, man. And the production on here, I like that he even used his production for most of it, too. And I'm like, yo, show people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this is why you're a fucking legend. Eric is nice. Yeah, and then you got that clown, Mr. Baby Reviews, talking about LOL. Like, go fucking kill yourself. You he probably didn't to, even listen to this shit, bro. Dude, talking about he's a vocalist, a singer. Sorry, he didn't listen to it. We're talking he's a little shit. I'm like, bro, pay homage to one of the reasons why you can make money in this fucking culture, you clown, bum, nerd. So anyways... Fuck that kid. So then we posted a bunch of Dirty Needles getting his rapidy raps on. Facts. That's what he does. Needles. Then we had a good face off. I was worried because I was like, man, this is one of those ones where it could go either way. These are both underground it's a tough legends. One, dude. Yeah. They're underground I got legends. Past clean. But there's a yeah, there's a more favorable underground. You know what I'm saying? So I thought Paz was gonna get it, but people were showing love people i went for i went for ra dude it's a hard one i like both i think has is oh my god that last album that he put out though was bro the last three his last three albums the butcher (laughs) the butcher Uh, yeah but like but i feel like it was like a battle like if i feel Mm. like it was if they were toe-to-toe battling i feel like ra might edge him i feel like on wax too ra could steal a track from him oh yeah yeah but again, I feel like they're My, both vet, yeah, yeah. they're both vets enough that they can do a lot. But I think on a as voice, it's, cold. <laughs> it's cold. I think from a from a, on paper standpoint, I think Paz for sure. But I wouldn't sleep on Ra if they were on a track together or battle. Do you know what I'm saying? Because Ra is nice. That's my favorite song off of his last album too. That fucking song he. My favorite part of the song fucking is coming is like right before the cutoff, and I was like, I kind of just want to move it forward, but. When he does, I'm the fucking underground underbrella man, uh, attic, a brain attic. And that, that fucking whole scheme is like, I already knows what he's doing. But it was a good one. This was a good face yeah, off. Paz is nice. Paz got this by like a good 15, 20%. And I was like, that's a good. And a lot of people jumped in on this. And that's what I like. You know who I like, though? The white, the white rapper coalition. You know them boys. They all got they came it. Out, they sh- came they out. Came out of force. They were like, <laughs> oh, we got white boys on here. We about to show love. And I'm like, yeah. And they showed love. They were talking. Yeah, they I talk. go for the culture, man. They weren't even like, oh, just one person. They're like, because this person, they, they gave it all. They came out. You know what I'm saying? They showed up. I fuck with them, man. They know I fuck with them. I harass them a lot. But um, this next project was, 
If I'd had a diamond, it was yeah, I, it's close. I gave it a, I gave it a ten out of ten. And like I would have given it. A 10 I needed out of 10. a diamond. It just didn't. it was yeah. I mean, I I feel like just, I can't give something this is a like, ten without a diamond. This you're, is you're, some like Texas stand up yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, like this is. I feel like nine point five, and then like that extra point five or that one is just like blocked. It's like DLC. You got to pay for this DLC. <laughs> you need to pay with a diamond. <laughs> ah, yeah. Not quite. I needed a diamond. I love this project. It is so fucking good. Big, big, big. Dude, why do people sleep on static? <laughs> why, why do people, people sleep on bun or static? Oh, uh, bun's nice. Do man. I have to remind people that bun B bun's nice? Shit like it on Jay Z. You think Bun ate B is slept his, on ate his soul. Huh? Yes, absolutely. J- Bun B is slept on. Really? I, I, feel, I feel like people don't give him respect because he's from the South. I feel like people is kind of nice. the age, you know, like time. But I don't like. I don't feel like he gets disrespected. He doesn't get disrespected. But you know, he somebody brings him up and they go, "Oh yeah, oh shit." Yeah, but yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, no yeah, one for- like puts him in any sort of rumblings, and he's been but a part of a lot. Out. Huh? He's been, though, he's been around forever. He's been around forever. He cooked, yeah, cooked Jay Z. Cooked Jay Z on what? Big Pimpin? Yes. Cooked him. We all knew that verse first. Remember that. We all memorized that verse first. But um, yo, this project, bro. One static. Salute to you. You need to be on more lists. More people need to mention you. Salute to you. All right. You look. Actually, you look like Iron Solomon. You, yeah, you look yeah. like Iron Solomon. But the the fact that this is why I like Bun B. Now, Bun B could have did this. He could have carried this by himself. Easy. 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 It could have been all him. The fact that Bun B is like, I'm going to go toe-to-toe with every kind of rapper there is and still hold his own is wild. Like, he's standing toe-to-toe with meth, smoke Dizza, West Side Gun, Uncle Murder, Big Crit, all over Talib. Paul, yo, tell me that Paul Wall verse wasn't gas. <laughs> the Paul Wall's champ. always been nice. He the always. People's champ. When I, dude, I when I heard that song, bro, I ran that shit back like six. This go ball inside my mouth insinuates I'm balling. Oh, <laughs> facts. That dude, if that if they need to cut, and, and he didn't do bad, but cut that dude Les off. Take him off that song. That song should have just been Bun and Paul. I bumped that fucking so Paul nice. Wall verse. Uh. Like ten times, I was like, "No, he I'm did not." Nah. I'm over. like, "Paul, well, you are not still writing like this, bro." The are you people's champ. Me? He came in, fucking swinging. Oh, I want to see. I want to see Paul Wall out here, just not not doing an album. I don't want a full length album. <laughs> no. I want Paul Wall out here doing features like Jay Cole's yep. down cooking people. Yep. Don't do don't just do that shit with people. With baby bash again. <laughs> yeah, just cook. Yeah, that, that nah, nah. I want I want just features. Yeah, of, of Paul yeah. Wall just out here cooking. Yeah. Feature God, but yo, Talib Kweli, you did not have to do that track like that. Yes, he did. You did Absolutely. not. After, have I, I, to do that. All the controversy he's going through, he needs to come he swinging every time. Did not, bro. It's no slight to Bun B or Big Crit. He got, he got smoked. Yeah, no, but he definitely took that. Talib smoked everybody on that track. So this is my track. Yeah, I was like, I, it, if if Talib rapped for sixteen more bars and you cut off Crit and Bun B, I'd have been like, this song is perfect. Like. He fucking he and I love the song. I like I listen to that song like thirty times. He Talib, you did not have like relax, relax, bro. Like relax. I feel like this song is like a lot closer to a diamond. This and one was right here. Oh or you should just God. give it to it. You should I just know. give it a thought diamond. about it. Just, just, just to give it the ten. I I feel like so I can't good. give another it's ten so this good. year. I think my because tens even, are out. Even, like. Yeah, you've yeah, already given out five two. or six. I've given out yeah, two this year, man. No You're like, tens. I gotta start being more critical. Yeah, two more. I gave two tens this year, and I still love those albums. What, but I Briggs and Little Sims. Little oh, Sims. I gave three. Riggs and Little Sims Rome and Streets. Napoleon. No, I didn't give Rome Streets. I would have if I reviewed uh, it, but Rome I didn't Streets review it. I would have. But yeah, I gave Little Sims, Napoleon, and Riggs, which I still are in. Ugh. They're in a playlist that I'm like, I listen to this every day. But uh, that Napoleon's the fucking truth. <laughs> ah, he's the fucking truth. <laughs> But um, yeah, this project, man, Uncle Murder's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> yo, you know whose verse is fire? I didn't, yo, and I like I like Flatbush Zombies, but I didn't think Michi Draco's verse was. It did not fit no. that beat. It didn't mm-hmm. fit. 
but I feel like Flappa should just do Flappa sneaks. CJ Fly was like, oh, I'm gonna... is... <sighs> you know what? CJ is slept on. <laughs> He is. He is. He's very. CJ is nice, and you know what's funny? CJ is like a founding member of Pro Era, and people don't know that. People don't know that. Nope. He came on that song like, yo, I'm finna. He was backstroking on. He was fucking swimming. I'm gonna listen to. I'm gonna listen to Fly. Oh, this beat was made for me. Uh, Yeah. He. Yeah. Facts. He jumped on the beat like, all right, get all that rumble, grumble, rah, rah, rah. I'm finna slide. And he came in sliding, but it was good, man. Terminology did his thing, even though apparently he's a snitch or a rat. But he's a rat. Say, but hey, what? Good for you. Somebody, yeah, somebody always, my my homegirl's just like, yo, he's a rat. He's a rat. And she knows something we don't know. So let it be. Fat Joe did his thing. Him and Smoke Dizzy seeing them together on a track, too. I was like, all right, I see y'all. Smoke yeah, Dizzy's nice. Bro. This is nice. This is mad nice. This is he's good. This is for the culture. Yeah, he's, yeah. This is, yeah this this project is 10 out of 10. Don't listen to Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, fact. It needed a Absolutely. diamond. It needed a diamond. That Tyler Quali song is a diamond. No, no. Tyler Quali's verse was a diamond. <laughs> Oh, just sorry. off the power of his verse. <laughs> yeah, should have been Tyler Crowley's verse was a diamond. He <laughs> it's his song now, and I can't I can't give it a diamond because it's not Bun B's song no more. It's Tyler Quali's song. <laughs> he stole oh, it, oh, featuring oh, shit. Big Crit. <laughs> yeah, man. So then the next project I did um, was Fly Times Volume One, The Good Fly Young by Wiz Khalifa. Whack. He, all he got to do is cut the songs in half, and you got a decent track. And the songs, would, it's crazy because, like, the songs would kick in. You're like, oh, this is smooth. I see you, Wiz. You rapping. It's five minutes later. You're like, why are you still fucking rapping, bro? You just cut it out. Every song that, that I liked on this was, like, three minutes. Yeah. The rest were, like, six. It, I think I just it was like him. that on that album he put out, too, last year. It was just like he was like, he was like okay. Too much. Hey, yeah, Wiz. Stop. And he has go a back and make voice. a cushion like orange shoes, please. Like yeah. Let's go back shoes. and make a cushion orange shoes. He's got such shut a up weird voice, too. And it's like, to hear it for this long, like, I get it. You can, you're can, you rapping. You're doing whatever you do on here. You're talking about weed. But, bro, we don't need six, like, what is it, 14, 14 eight-minute tr- long tracks. I'm like, come on. This project was a, an hour, bro. Relax. And it just, it took away from it because this is probably the best he sounded in a minute. <laughs> but... Just slow it down, cut it in half. But you know he's rich, so you don't need to. Yeah, yeah he's still collecting the check from the Paul Walker thing easily, so. and terrible the, the Snoop shit, the movie, and all that. So this next project, Walker, you good, bro? You good, bro? Bro, <laughs> this was KOD this... by Band Gang Lonnie Band. Actually, I reviewed it, and then you just put his name on the. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> I, I had Mark Ghost write this one for me, <laughs> bro. Facts. Was I wrong though? No. I nope. made it through. I'm, I'll, I'll keep it a stack. I'm like, oh, nigga, this is delicious. What is it? What is that? Like, it is. I Wait, know, I just grabbed this from the fridge. This quit is, drinking all. Quit, quit drinking all Angie's white girl beers. Facts. This is fire. Bikini. They bottle. be onto some shit. They be onto some shit sometimes. Mmm. It tastes like a chocolate milk. But um, so that's fire. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so this project, I listened to the first three tracks. And I was like, and then I, I would hit skip and then 10 seconds. And I'm like, yep, Bro, skip 10 seconds. Yep. First, look at just look at the progression of the emojis <laughs> for like the first quarter of the album. <laughs> and it's too fucking long, dude. Shit emojis. People, and this is the anti diamond. This is the exact opposite of a diamond. This is the worst shit you could <laughs> ever hear. This I shit is riddled him, with it. <laughs> I should have gave him negative points. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah you gave him a one, and I was just like, I was shocked with that many dookies, bro. That cancels out <laughs> any that, number. That, I, I was that's just, a zero. I, I was seeing red. I couldn't think straight. I oh just my couldn't. God. Think. That's, like, that, <laughs> first poop emoji. I'm already like donut. <laughs> this is yeah, this, zero. This is zero off <laughs> Dude, this, so this project was that's, wild. That's my reviewing process, man. As soon as I hear a dookie, it's like, all right, the project over. is now at a zero. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> one, ex- over. one excerpt from my review <laughs> is how I really feel about this. It's a, a, a bowl of narcotic lace <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it sounds like. It's that's really fucking bad. bars. Oh, speaking of this, the <laughs> Drifter, um, what's his name? The Drifter, he made a wild appearance on this one, and he commented. Yep. <laughs> Remember that kid? Fuck yeah, he, he just vanished. Frank Bosa, <laughs> he's back. <laughs> but he actually. I'm a oh, that's he it. Hit, me, hit me up in the DMs. He was like, um, he was like, oh, the reason I left was Game of Thrones, and my family wouldn't let me watch. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Hey, but he's gay, hey. and he's like, hey, if we yeah, have but... another day, let me know. And I'm like, nah. I just commented and said, where you been? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna tell you Game of Thrones. So, nah. The next project, 
I don't think J- I, this one is a red stamp. This was Trap Star Turnip Pop. Star yeah, this is fucking garbage. Peanut butter I skipped, and jelly, I skipped peanut butter jelly rock. Zero. With his you can bring this hair. back to that. Shit. I can bring this back to that Shannon Sharp clip. Skip, 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 <laughs> skip, 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 skip. I haven't skip, done skip. one of those in a while. I need to start fucking around some more. I got to set a day just to make trolling videos. <laughs> this project was the highest Zero. of the ass. The second I put it on, and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. All that singy, singy shit ah. is for the birds. I'm done. I'm done with it. Can I, it's, can I is have, this even have, halfway have, through the year? I'm done request. with it. <laughs> yes. You know, this year has not been as good can as you, all the other years. Can you just read the first sentence in his voice? Oh, all right. Do it. <laughs> oh, this album is just, this album is just there taking up space. <laughs> We need a JP soundboard, man. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you. I can you. make one. Give me enough time. I got to find the last Sorry, thing he bro, was on. We need it. We need a <laughs> JP soundboard. No, you could just do it. You could just do <laughs> no, it. I just do it yourself. And then Actually, just press I was button. thinking about it all day today. I think I'm going to update the soundboard. I'm going to add some new fun stuff to it. And just uh, we need the all. silencer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fags. So, um, but this project is garbage. One, it's a thousand. It's 18 songs. Way too long. And every song's like four minutes. This is high quality ass though, and it's yeah, it's very clean. <laughs> it's very clean. <laughs> I, every, I, I heard it's every the, sound. It's like a perfectly smooth turd. <laughs> yeah, it's like a good dookie. Like when you sit yeah, there and like a and glider, out, like you know, one wipe, like and it's just per, it's flawless. Like it's one of those. Like a, a but it's y'all, y'all, y'all nasty. But it's still shit. You know, it's still shit. <laughs> it's still at the shit. End of the day. And yeah. it's, it's, it's not good. It's not. I was like broccoli. Yeah, this had. There was one song that I think I liked on that didn't like like like, but it was like okay was the A Boogie song, but I didn't like anything else. I was like, nope. Like, oh, did uh, anybody else the notice Quavo the song. rare triple X ten extension cord? I don't think JP realized he was on there because he didn't add him as a feature. Tentacion. Uh, ten yeah, that guy. But uh, yeah. I thought. Oh, you talking about Tupac? My bad. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. New Pac. Yeah. So Josh. yeah. <laughs> Yo, they, like I keep seeing like so I said I saw something on Instagram today that was like oh greatest artist of all time and I just wanted to be like I report you now. <laughs> this this picture is offensive. <laughs> Delete this. <laughs> We're just gonna. I'm gonna start reporting people for yeah. fuck for fuck shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when I saw awful. that when I saw that like new age rapper Avengers picture that I posted in the story, I oh, was like I want awful. I have high key wanted to report that, but uh, <laughs> all the new head people loved it in the, in the story. I'm like don't don't message me, man. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> But um, yeah, this project's trash. Um, there's nothing good on here. There's the A, A Boogie song and the Quavo song. That's about it. Quavo. But yeah, but the X song, he did. I don't think JP knew he was even on there because he. Didn't, I don't think he realized it because it doesn't. It's just, it's like one of those. Don't secret cry. <laughs> it's real quick. Yeah, but um, then more dirty needles. Show him his love. <laughs> then we kicked into Saturday. So this one, this dude was harassing me. So he did it to himself. Harassing me. Yo, when's that review? Blah, 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 blah. This fire is going. <laughs> every go, time. Go, blah, blah. Bro. Strong arm, strong arm, strong arm. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, I got you. I'm going to review it. And it's a red stamp. So. Congratulations. You played yourself. This is Ruga versus Reek. And his name is Ruga Reek. You know, now, you, you know who's the worst character ever of Game of Thrones? <laughs> Reek. Reek. Facts. <laughs> so, and you know who's dead? Reek. So. Reek. This project, when I saw the Thank name, God. I'm like, oh, maybe it's going to be like singy nah. rap versus rap raps. Nope. Every song is singy rap. Singy rap versus singy rap. Yeah. Literally. Literally what this is. So I was just like, all right, I'm over it. Can we just stop doing it? Just stop yeah. singing and rapping. Yeah. Just, just rap. What's, what's just crazy rap. is just rap or the, just songs, sing. the songs that I gave a wave <laughs> was that dude, Ty Benjamin, carried every song that that dude was on. He did his thing. Salute to that dude. And then the other one was some dude named Hug did his thing. He's out there with like the Atlas Stone, <laughs> facts. Hold, holding the track up. Yeah, facts. Save it. Like this, these dudes saved you. But other than that, you didn't do anything out of the. You didn't do anything worth like harassing us so much. Like this wasn't like game changer. This wasn't. You didn't break. He was harassing us because he was anxious because he knew what was coming. Red snaps are coming, but and yeah. he was looking for he was looking for reassurance. Now your yeah. man's remembers. Yeah, facts. It was boring. It was long. And Every- it's like qu- clean co- quality and it's shit that like I guess like these stupid ass kids would like. But it's like, bro, for 16 songs, no one, even these dumb ass kids, no one's going to listen to it for that long. Yeah. 
Nobody wants this. No one's going to listen. It's the same shit. And the beats were okay. But, like, you did nothing to help those beats. You held your own project down. So it's like you literally were Ruga versus Reek. It was you versus this project. And you were losing. The worst Game of Thrones character Punch, versus Just yourself. punching yourself in the face. Yeah. Trash. But then we had another project. This was uh, Soundtrack to Your Weight by Angst. This is a new young kid who was like he did all this by himself for the most part. I think he said he produced. He even, like, mixed most of it. And I'm like, man, if this is your first, I'm project, mad at it. Yeah, if this is your first I didn't project, get to this one. I'm not mad at you at all. This is this is a, it's a smooth project. I didn't hate it at all. I was like, this kind of slides. It was a little long, as usual. We know we can't. Once you pass eleven tracks, it's long. We say that like I, we we need to like, like everybody's got to take a shot every time we say an album is too long. But see, what's crazy? Yeah, facts. What's crazy is like people are like, oh, you, guys, stop are, you guys aren't so long, down man. with the new age, and it's like, yeah, the new age makes short albums, so you get down with it. <laughs> Help us exactly. But this shit is it's just super it's a little long, but it's smooth. Like he the beats are dope and he's rapping. He got um it's smooth. He's got a lot of boom bap, a lot of jazz shit, but he's got channel casper on there. I like that kid. I don't know what it is. Every time I see his name, I'm like, oh he's he's rapping. He's giving me something I like. Even though it's not channel scaper, you know. But um Yeah, this this project was dope. I enjoyed this project a lot. It was super sm- he's rapping a lot. Some of the features were whack, some were dope. So it's like mm, they kinda took away the song some of them took away the songs from you. It happens. You lose a song. You know, facts. Sometimes you can't say no to people. Maybe it's your cousin or something, and you lose that song. It's just how it goes. You can't say that shit enough. You can't. <laughs> I, was just, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say that shit Did, enough. Is this something that happened recently? No, this is, <laughs> no, this is October 31st, 2018. <laughs> What's funny is I'll never forget when you sent the first rough, and I'm like, like "This is, is this? way off." And it's like, "Nah, nah, nah, it ain't and off." Then, and then we put him in the pocket, and then I sent it to him, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, down nah, the nah. pocket." Like, <laughs> Woo, I love rap. Our, our version definitely sounded better, man. Yeah, facts. So, and then um, this last project, I was ducking this for a minute, and I'm I'm mad at myself for it. This is a silhouette of a sunken city by Spark Master Tape. This is 21 tracks. This is gas. I, I fucking I was this is the most unique thing I've heard, I think, <coughs> in a in a hot minute, especially on SoundCloud. Why is this on SoundCloud? I don't know. I guess uh, Sample I guess the producers clearance. and yeah, and the samples. Because he had that Maybe. song that had like a full snoop ver, like as the intro. And like but that's why it's not on yeah, that's why facts. Uh, that right there. That yeah. one. Yeah, facts. But um this is Ooh, this is this project. I've been bumping it since I listened to it. And what's funny is this is the last thing I listened to on Friday. And I was like, I'm gonna listen to this for the rest went, of the week. I went and listened to it when you put it in the chat. It's a good time, right? It's like, like yo, he's you know what it reminds me of? Remember the end of um that little Dickie song, the save that money, the end. If you yeah, were the yeah, coffee yeah. show, like that whole part is this whole album, but with just all the crazy Fact. sounds. And I was like, yo, the beats all slap. They got dark, they got upbeat. That song with the weird sample with the girl, and the girl goes, bruh, 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 bruh. I'm like, yo, this is a banger. Like, I could see people going crazy off of this. This is ridiculous. But I enjoyed this a lot. Everything was catchy. The effects were fire. Fantano gave this a three. I still don't understand. But he, they, he didn't pay for his review. <laughs> he didn't pay him for this review. Yeah, it was weird. But all the, all the weird effects, all the shit, I was like, yo, I'm really on board with this. Like, he used the <coughs> deepening effect pitch effect the entire time and i had no problem with it i loved it but yeah this slide for 21 tracks i've been listening to it on loop i have no problem just letting it bump like i like i said when you listen to this whatever you're doing it becomes the soundtrack like i i had uh i just finished zelda like 100 percent of zelda on the switch and listening to this uh, facts you know how hard that shit is fucking out yes but <laughs> this this to <laughs> that Oh my god, this fucking worked. And then I jumped to another game. I started playing Dragon's Dogma. Fire. Playing Mortal Kombat. Fire. I'm like, this this album is one of those. Like, if you study, if you're in school and all that other shit, put this on. You're good. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to it. But it goes good with video games, for sure. Love but, that. Um, <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of the old days, right? Humble. Yeah. Humble. But um, that was the last of the reviews. Then we did uh, this Slept on Sunday. This brought back memories. Whoever put this on the list, salute to you. You're welcome. I was this, like, it wasn't me. Because what's crazy Brother is, Ali is nice. I've yes. been a fan of Brother Ali for a minute. But I do feel like he stopped rap rapping in his last like two projects. Yes. And this reminded me that there was a point in time where he could bang with 90s rappers. Yeah, I think he just got old, bro. 
Yeah. And he just got like super soulful, started doing the whole <laughs> shit like that. He started that. hanging out with atmosphere. Still, yo, till this day, people think I'm crazy. I don't know if people were there, but two years ago, um, atmosphere headlined, uh, I forgot where, but I feel like it was like Gramercy or Highline maybe. But they headlined and Brother Ali and Homeboy Sandman opened up. And Slug and Brother Ali were like, yo, we're putting, we're working on projects. It had to be three or four years I ago. I need that. They were like, we're working on a project. And they did two songs off of it. And they were fire. And that project never dropped. Never dropped. And I'm like, I'm never. And I could still hear how gassed those two songs are. And I'm like, I'm never going to hear this again. I'm never going to hear this again. And I'm nope. super upset. But it was dope because they had everyone come on stage. And Slug was like, he had to be trashed. But he had like a thing where the DJ or uh, Anthony was playing beats and him and Brother Ali and Sam, Homeboy Sam, they were all freestyling. And then oh. Slug started, Slug took over and he was like, oh, I got to show you guys I do this. Started freestyling for a, a solid three minutes. But was crazy, his freestyles were nothing like his regular, um, like in the pocket, in out, out of the pocket. pocket. Yeah. So well, it shows me that he knows how to rap. Funny. He just yeah, creates like, his style. Has a style. That's like uh, Be Real from. Um, yeah. That's not how he he originally started rapping at first. He rapped like in a normal voice. Yeah. And then he started doing that high pitch voice. I forget who he said he was like inspired by to start doing it. It was somebody else who used to rap like that too. And then it just kind of like the first song he did that voice and it like took off. Yeah. And they were like, well, guess what? You're rapping like that from now on. Like Slug (laughs) Slug was like, he was just in a, in a crazy pocket and was just like rapping. And I was like, this is the best day of my life. You know me, I'm a huge, but I was losing it. I was like, this is fire. And that project. Uncle, facts, my uncle, but uh, it never and the project never came out. Your no, 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 your dad, my dad, our, our uncle. Our uncle. <laughs> and it, it never dropped. So I was just like, yo, that hurts because I really wanted that. And then Bro Ali put out a dope, dope project. Was it 2017? But yeah, yeah. there was nothing, you know, nothing else outside. He did a that. couple like freestyle appearances, I think, yeah. in 2018 Bro-Lali or something. Is but... Rhyme yeah. Sayer all day. Facts. You know who I just started getting to part of Rhyme Sayers? Who I, it took oh. me a bit, Prof. Prof is fire, bro. Yeah, he's very, very, he's an acquired taste too. But I, everyone in Rhyme Sayers is just weird sounding. They're different. And I like Rhyme Sayers, when I'm in the cooler at work, Rhyme Sayers radio is definitely on. Yeah. But I just started getting really into Prof because it took me a bit because like people sent me stuff and they would just send me like full on deep into it. And I'm like, I'm not here. No. Yet. And then like once I started really digging in, I started to appreciate him more. And I'm like, Prof is nice. And because like that project he, dro- project he dropped last year, I don't remember who reviewed it. I think it was one You did. Uh, I don't think I did it. I don't think I did it. Yes, you I did. think it was Mark. Yeah, no, I it was one of you guys. I thought I it was, uh, but um, I remember listening to it, and I was like, I don't know if I'm on board with this. And then, like, I gradually got to it, and I'm like, oh, I fuck with this. I kind of fuck with it now. But he's he's different. He's very different. But um, and then more dirty needles for that ass needles, and that's it, man. That's that's our episode. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't sound anything like E40. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. And what's funny is someone in the comments, I think it was Think Twice, was just like, nah, bro, you guys are like, you. <laughs> I was like, I told you. <laughs> I jumped in on that immediately. But yeah, man, uh, that's all we got, man. That's our, that's our, that's our Tang Tang. I got to picture, figure out what Thanos next. dies. Facts. I got to give, uh, well, tomorrow the lift is banned. We could spoil everything, even though I've just been throwing I can't shit in the comments. Wait. I mean, the memes have already been out here, so. Yeah. 